As many of you know, I grew up in a small town, a booming metropolis of 300 people. And so a lot of times we had to go on these car rides and just to get to basic places. And it was the rule in our household that if you were to go in a long car ride, you would have to, we would pray rosary on the way. And of course, when the grocery store is 30 minutes away, there's lots of times you're going on long car rides. So that's how I grew up praying the rosary. And it's funny because as a kid, like you kind of just like get into the rhythm of it and you're sort of going along and you're saying the words. But how often do we take the time to actually meditate on the words that we're saying, on the honor that we're giving to Our Lady? And of course, in today's gospel reading, we have this beautiful message from the angel Gabriel to the words of Our Lady. And it says, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, which of course we all know from the Hail Mary. But what the angel Gabriel is doing is he's already saying about how God's presence is within Mary. God has already chosen her. He's already called her because we know that she's conceived without, without the blemish of original sin so that she can have the birth of the Savior. And today's readings beautifully speak to this mystery, this um, great mystery they speak about in the responsorial psalm, because we see about how in today's first reading, it was the original sin, the sin of death, that entered through the woman, that entered through Eve, and how she ate of the fruit of the forbidden tree, even though God told her not to. But yet it's also through the woman, through Mary's yes, that we receive the remedy for this original sin. We receive our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who comes to be born of the Virgin in order to conquer sin and death and to redeem us of our sins. This is a great and beautiful mystery of God, something that should give us all pause. I, I don't know how somebody could come up with such, a, a, such an immaculate and wonderful design. But the, today we should really think about, too, so we see that Mary was chosen as the one to bear the Messiah. She was the one who was chosen to be the new Eve, the new mother of all creation. But it's all through her yes that we were able to have a savior born to us. If Mary said no, if Mary turned away from what God asked her to, we wouldn't be here today. None of this would happen. But it's through Mary's yes that we receive the savior. And that is the greatest gift of all. And this reminds each and every one of us that just as Mary said yes to that call to holiness, she said yes to following God's will. It's not necessarily through great acts that God asks us to call, that he, God calls us to or, or wants us to follow him, but it's through those little moments in our everyday life where we say yes to God that matters. Those little moments that we turn away from sin, those moments that we turn towards God's in, God in prayer, those little promptings that we have in our heart that we know is the desire of the Holy Spirit to be fulfilled in our lives. It's through those little yeses like Mary's that we're able to bring the message of Christ into the world today and that we're able to follow what God has asked us to. So like Mary, we should not be afraid of the, what God has called us to. We should not be afraid of doing these things that the Lord asks us to. And he may ask us to do big things like he did Mary, but it's also in these little things that we become closer to Christ. And today we have this beautiful feast day of the Immaculate Conception, and we are so blessed to have uh, the, the Immaculate Conception as our intercessor, the patroness of our country. And we should always think about what a great role model Mary is for us, how she always protects us, how she acts as our mother, and how we can go to her, we can ask for her intercession. And today as we continue to honor the, the feast of the uh, solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, we honor the yes of Our Lady, and we honor the great divine providence that God had in order to give us the Savior. May we always have the, the courage to say yes in those little moments to follow God's will in our lives. And may we always run to Our Lady and ask for her prayers in our time of need. And may we all be kept safely under the mantle of her protection.